Welcome back to New Jersey Motorsports Park in Millville, New Jersey. Third lap of this 45-minute time race. There are your top four. Todd Buris is fifth. Now, Elliot, let's go back to this start again when Malkazian went for the lead coming to turn one. Yeah, he got a really good jump on the start and got up on Huffmaster. I thought he was going to get uh, past Eric Foss as well. But, you know, he tucks back in. You can see it's a little slippery out there. <laughs> But he uh, tucked back in, used his head, and nobody got in trouble, and he got a good start. Air has settled back into fourth right now. This is action fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth all nose to tail here. Ryan Shims has been so fast at some places. For a young driver, he is out of Texas. Elliot, I don't think he's come to grips with a wet racetrack very well yet. Well, something must have happened at the start because he was uh, quick in qualifying, which was still a little damp, and he was... Uh, dropped back immediately and now he's running well again. I don't know if he had a problem at the beginning or something. Running order top of your screen. Keep track of your favorite driver watching the lead here which belongs to Huffmaster. That's Eric Foss in the green and white car. Brad Rampelberg runs third there on the 14. Those are some of the championship contenders. Huffmaster fifth in points coming in here this weekend. Yeah, and Rampelberg seems to be really flying. It looks like Eric has dropped back a little bit off Huffmaster and here is Rampelberg actually uh, making a move on Eric right now. Didn't make it. But he's uh, made up the distance from after he got by Malkasian all the way up to Eric Foss, who we know is an excellent driver. So he's really flying today. Eric Malkasian back there fourth in that Alara racing the yellow car that you see. And Todd Buras, who's been second in points much of the season, running in fifth. This battle for second, a very close one. Yeah, it looks like Eric's got his mirrors full right now, and he's got to drive carefully. If he, oh, there's the mistake. All he did was just uh, get a little wide there and jumped on it. Uh, Rampelberg has really got a handle on this damn course. Brad Rampelberg up to second in the blue and white car. Battle now will rage for third. Here comes Aaron Malkasian. He wants to get by Eric Foss if he can. Is Foss thinking too much about the championship at this point? Here he comes right back at Rampelberg. Well, I don't think so. I think that, uh, you know, you're driving very carefully. But I think that um, Eric was able to capitalize on that when those two guys went side by side. It slowed them down a little bit, and he was able to make uh, up the point. You can see they're pulling away from him a little bit again now. So I think they've got a little speed on him. I think um, occasion has got to worry about Buras coming up behind him now. Down into turn number one, Robert Huffmaster, the winner at most sports, second race of the season. A little wiggle going into turn one, but he's able to keep it on the road. The top five nose to tail. And you mentioned, Elliot, at the top of the broadcast, you haven't yet had a chance to drive on this circuit. It's brand new this season. It's got a lot of places. Whoa, -ho! occasion <laughs> goes plowing up the turf. Oh, man, what a ride. Whoa, uh, and around on the, the track. racetrack. Oh, man, that'll hurt him. He's been running so good. Oh, look at all these spots he's going to lose with these guys coming by now. A bunch of them together. He's got to be careful there. He was right down where you want to turn into that corner. Everybody gets by safely. But look at this. He goes back to about 13th spot. Yeah, that's tough. You know, he's been right up there getting these podium spots and looked like he had another shot. But you can also see how slick it was out there. As he comes into it, there's a big slide. Well, here we go, watching it now. He comes through the corner, gets a little bit of curve on the inside, uses a little bit too much, and as soon as you get out there, there is no grip. And you can see he's correcting for it, and nothing's happening. It's going around anyway. Going mud bogging here in Millville, New Jersey. Yeah. And Todd Buras almost did the same thing. He put a wheel off, was able to stay on the road. Let's watch from the onboard of Malkasian's car. Yeah, he's, he's, he's now just wishing he hadn't done that. But, but it's sliding across, and, you know, he's coming across the track, and you don't know who's coming because you can't tell. You can't do a thing about it. Well, that is one of the storylines here, certainly today. If you put a wheel off, you'll kick some mud or dirt up on the racetrack. As Elliot pointed out earlier, you can cause yourself problems next time you come around. Malkasian recovers and doesn't hit anything. Now for the lead, Brad Rampelberg makes the inside move at the end of the front stretch and takes it away. Oh, he just got that car flying today. And you know, you can already see a dry line getting out there where you can run where it's nice. And you know, he's been able to make these moves, which is great. Now it looks like Herrick's come back up on them again. But it's, um, you know, it's, it's hard to get offline and still make these passes. But then again, you come around a corner and there'd be mud that wasn't there the last lap and you're going to use more road than you thought you were going to use. Robert Huffmaster in that 27 car, that's the red and silver machine, the Huffmaster Company's entry. He took a look at trying to repass Rampelberg, couldn't get it done. And Elliot, what I was trying to get to a moment ago, this place has got a lot of bends in it, high speed sections that aren't actual turns. You can stay on the gas a lot here. Well, they are. There are turns, but with this uh, speed you're able to attain in these cars, you are going back and forth across the track a lot. That doesn't give you the opportunity to drive in under somebody. I think the other point here is Huffmaster has a little bit of an advantage in one way here is, is if he makes a move and it doesn't work, he's got his teammate behind him who will give him a benefit and not try and take him out or do something and make a really aggressive move. 
Rappelberg runs one of the Hoover speed cars, and then you've got the Team MER cars running second and third right now, Huffmaster in that silver and red machine, and then you've got points leader Eric Foss third in the green and white car. And they've lost a little distance on uh, Rappelberg right now, but I have a feeling they're going to come back at him. Brad Rappelberg from San Jose, California, has grabbed the lead early here in Millville, New Jersey. We'll be right back with the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup. 